And uh, even though people would not be able to all be in the same room together, we thought that the activities in the conference could go uh, forward as planned. We were determined to make the conference work. Then about a week later, the group gatherings were reduced to 50 people or less. Or less. Planned. So, so we, we jumped through a bunch more hoops, made a bunch of changes again, and thought we're still ready to move forward. Then after that point, it was reduced to 10 individuals or less. At that point, unfortunately, the venue coordinator with the City of Hurricane would not allow us to be out of compliance even if the committee members and all of us were willing to have a larger group gathering. We offered varying degrees of sanitation stations and uh, distancing of people and uh, all of those things that uh, might be for people's protection, all of that to no avail, unfortunately. Uh, we considered going outside and found that there was not a location available. Uh, nothing that we could get approved and also it was uh, scheduled to have rain in the forecast and so we didn't think that that would be a very good possibility. Well, in order to be in compliance and in order to make this all happen, we are here today live streaming with a few difficulties maybe and uh, bringing this event to you in a small room with not even all of the committee members being able to be in attendance. So your prayers regarding this conference would be appreciated. We are live streaming portions of the conference and as you know, many things were not able to be uh, included today. As it turns out, it's a beautiful spring day here in Hurricane Utah. The weather outside is wonderful and I'm sure it is much like possibly how it was the beautiful morning when Joseph Smith 200 years ago went to the sacred grove. Uh, please notice all of the beauty around you. Notice what the fresh rain brings and notice all the goodness that God has surrounding all of our lives. Uh, amidst all this chaos, we need to stop and, and smell the roses and enjoy the beauty. As you might uh, expect, the conference planning committee had put in many long hours for many months. And we were all doing this in an attempt to be properly prepared. But then after seeing all that is going on in the world and what's happening at present, we felt that we, all that we ever needed to be truly prepared for the future is contained right here in this little object. Little did we know. Who knew? So we are well prepared for this conference. Okay. Now with that explanation as to why the conference was delayed and why we are here doing this in this uh, venue today, uh, we hope that all of you will have a greater understanding of all that we've been through and that you would accept our sincere apologies for any con inconveniences that this may have caused to all of you. So thank you. We would like to start off our conference now by having an opening prayer from Jeff Carter. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to be here this morning. Grateful for your blessings. Grateful for your love and for your Son, who is our Savior. As we have musical numbers and speakers this morning, we pray for your Spirit to enliven each of us to bless us with peace and calm and with your words. We pray for those throughout the world who are struggling with what is going on. We pray for your blessings to be upon them as well. We again express our deep love and our gratitude and do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jeff, for that prayer. Now we have a few announcements that we would like to bring to the attention to everybody. These are announcements that have been sent to us from various individuals and organizations that are working to uh, 
have things progress in this movement and they have sent them to us. Originally we were going to have them all presented in the program and various degrees of how they might uh, be uh, communicated to all of you. So we have decided to read most of them here today. So if you'll bear with me for about 10 minutes, I'm going to have to read uh, several of the announcements that have uh, been sent in. Uh, first of all, an important note too with regards to the breakout sessions that were planned yesterday. Uh, as you know, we uh, were not able to hold those in person and so many of those have been or will be recorded and be able to be available to everyone on restorationarchives.com website. So we would like to now have one of our first annou announcements by Craig Richards regarding the Missionary Pal book that he has uh, put together. I just wanted to make uh, everyone aware of a book that's just been published uh, that's really in concert with the release of the new scriptures and the new uh, leather bound scriptures that will be coming out soon. So there's been a, an effort, a two year long effort to put together uh, a reference book. It's called A Remnant uh, Missionary Pal. It's available on Amazon. Um, many, many years ago when I was a missionary for the LDS Church or for the church formerly known as the Mormon Church, um, I used to have this missionary pal that I used pretty extensively and it was very useful. It has within it a lot of scriptures on a lot of topics and then it has the scriptures that you can uh, look up. Uh, we've done the same thing with the Remnant Missionary Pal and within inside of it um, there are sections on here on all types of topics and we've listed uh, listed it by uh, LDS uh, version of scriptures along with the new scriptures. So that those will all be listed. Uh, there's listed new sections that have been added to it. If you have the old, the original, the original Revelation that came, that came out two years ago, so this one is a much expanded version, version of every section added here here on scriptures that might concern uh, discussing with family members who perhaps are still uh, LDS. Uh, there's also sections in here and scriptures that might be useful to talk to uh, uh, your discussing with family members who perhaps are still your, your Christian yes. neighbors yes. also yes. for uh, there's a section in here also for how to talk with um, remnant uh, Native Americans and with uh, Jewish folks so uh, you can find this on Amazon it's about seven dollars you can order that and I just want to make that aware to you that this is available now it's a great resource Thank you, Craig. Okay, now I'm going to read a couple of uh, uh, announcements here. And first of all, we have an update from the Restoration Scriptures Foundations. So it says, greetings from the Restoration Scriptures Foundation. We have an update to keep, keep everyone informed about the progress of the leather-bound edition of the Restoration Edition Scriptures. Scriptures have been printed, stitched, nipped, trimmed and are in the sanding and gilding process now. Once that is complete, the covers will go on and they will be completed. The best estimate for delivery of our order is the end of April for completion and allow roughly 60 days for shipment uh, from the bookbinder to the USA and from there to the customer. COVID-19 has impacted supply chains worldwide, causing major delays and service outages. We have, we have been fortunate that our bookbinder in India has been able to work through these issues in a professional and effective manner. However, we do anticipate that there could still be delays related to the shipping and delivery. So given the current backup of products that are in line ahead of us and other variables that we won't know until we get there. Nonetheless, we continue to work closely with everyone involved and we will keep everyone appraised of our progress as we work together to complete the scriptures and get them to all of you and in your hands. As more definite dates become available, we'll send another uh, update. And in the meantime, you can get a print on demand scriptures you can get those in various size, sizes and bindings you can go to www.scriptures.shop as well as online for free at 
www.scriptures.info. That is from Chris Hamill. Okay, now an update on the Temple Fund. This is from Karen Strong, Jeanette Van Leer, and Elaine Henderson. The Temple Fund, a statement about the financial accountability for donated funds is what this is. All funds donated to the Temple Fund Committee have been and are held in their entirety without any dispersal for any reason by the committee. Not one cent has been spent or is expected to be sent to be spent until construction begins. Each person or party who has donated has received an acknowledgement from a member of the committee, giving thanks for their contribution. Every donation is carefully recorded in two separate records maintained by two members of the committee. We plan to provide full transparency of all gifts with donor names withheld for privacy, as well as accounting for all expenditures when the temple is completed. The funds at this point has earned over $11,000 in interest, which also has not been spent and which will continue to accumulate as part of the Temple Funds until construction begins. Again, from the Temple Fund Committee, Karen Strong, Jeanette Van Leer, and Elaine Henderson. Okay, one more announcement. So, the Restoration News Bulletin, a new announcement service has been set up so that anyone wishing to have announcements emailed to them automatically can have two things that need to happen to make this work. Any person or group that has an announcement for this movement needs to send an email to restorationnewsbulletin at gmail.com. Of course, there's no spaces in there. restorationnewsbulletin at gmail.com with information on where to find out more about the news and number two you will need to go to restorationnewsbulletin.wordpress.com and click on the subscribe button at the bottom of the page so that you will be included in the automated announcements if this works you will benefit from having you will not you will benefit from not having to uh, continually search many places to keep up with what is happening with this movement. Those wishing to get information out to the movement, particularly those who don't know many people or don't have well-known blogs or websites, can reach out to all of us at the same time. This is an announcement service for business and events. This is not a place for discussion or personal opinions. All potential announcements will be evaluated for appropriateness by three individuals running the service and only qualified announcements will be forwarded to everyone by email. More information can be found at restorationnewsbulletin.wordpress.com. Now with regards to conference proposals. Anyone wishing to present a proposal at a a general conference can have that proposal posted along with their explanation at conferenceproposals.blogspot.com. It will then be forwarded over uh, to the Restoration News Bulletin Announcement Service to everyone who has subscribed to receive automated announcements. Information needed to get proposals posted is given at the top of the blog. Okay, then I think we're down to the last one. It's only one more announcement. The Living Waters Retreat. This is from the Boise Fellowship in Idaho. It says, Hi friends, the Boise Fellowship is excited to announce the Living Waters Retreat, which will take place in Chalice, Idaho over Labor Day weekend 2020, which is September 4th through September uh, 7th. We have been working for months to plan this event and couldn't be more excited about it. The website for the retreat is finished and we'd like help getting the word out to everyone. The retreat website has all of the information you need to plan your travel, book your lodging and meals, and get a feel for what the event will be like. Please pass this website along to everyone in your local fellowships or your circles. 
If you would like to volunteer or facilitate an activity or a study group at the retreat, then you will find all of the information you need to do so on the website. You can always access the retreat website through the homepage of uh, restorationarchives.com. More information about the retreat schedule will be posted on the site as the event gets closer. We look forward to an amazing weekend together in the mountains of Idaho. The retreat website is retreat.restorationarchives.com. So they say, we'll see you in September. Love the Boise Fellowship. Okay, I think we're finally done with all those announcements. Not too bad. <clears throat>